Hey everybody, Matt here with an update for you on Tropical Storm Idalia, which made landfall this morning as a hurricane, a Category 3 major hurricane. 125 mile an hour winds uh, came into Taylor County in Florida in the Big Bend, uh, causing some extensive damage in that area. We'll sort of get a full picture as to what happened uh, in that area, I think starting tomorrow and uh, especially on Friday, we'll know a good bit more about how bad it was, how it compares to other storms in the past, etc. Uh, Idalia was not playing games. It strengthened to a Category 4 storm uh, before undergoing what's known as an eye wall replacement cycle right before landfall, which is about as good a situation as you could hope for, I think, uh, because that caused at least temporary weakening. It doesn't really help with surge that much. You're still going to have a bad surge with a hurricane like that, but at least it temporarily weakened it a little bit just before it came ashore. And then obviously over land, the storm weakened uh, steadily as it moved to the north. It's racing north too, already almost into South Carolina. As you can see from the radar image here, some heavy rain across inland South Carolina, some scattered thunderstorms uh, moving across uh, parts of coastal South Carolina up toward Myrtle Beach and into southern North Carolina as well. This rain will continue to move off to the north and the east as we go through the night tonight and eventually shut down tomorrow uh, with some improving conditions across much of this area. Idalia is still causing some tidal flooding issues on the coast and you can see this is the tidal gauge from Charleston uh, as of just before 7 o'clock uh, central time, 8 o'clock eastern time and you can see the tide levels recording about just about eight and a half feet uh, right now. It's expected to crest around 8.6, 8.7 feet, which would be the highest in a few years in Charleston, ranked close to number seven all time if it can get up to that 8.7 foot range uh, for Charleston high tide. So uh, definitely some major coastal flooding underway in the Charleston area, obviously an area that's used to flooding, uh, but this is getting up into a little bit of the upper echelon of flooding events in Charleston uh, for even that area. Uh, moderate flooding may occur as far north as Myrtle Beach, minor flooding, tidal flooding up into Wilmington, North Carolina and parts of the coast as well. Uh, the water will kind of continue to pile up, I think on the western side of Pamlico Sound in North Carolina. So you could see some mainland flooding in North Carolina on the sound uh, from Idalia as the uh, winds kind of continue to push some of that water from east to west across the uh, sound there. Uh, in addition to that, we've got heavy rainfall. We're expecting anywhere from uh, six to eight inches of total rain in North Carolina. Uh, some of that could produce some flooding as well. Uh, we will have some flash flooding up and down North Carolina and South Carolina as we go through the night tonight, improving conditions again tomorrow, and hopefully this will be history for everybody by tomorrow afternoon. Let's talk about Adalia's track right now. Adalia is uh, down below 70 mile an hour winds and it's expected to move up into North Carolina and then eventually uh, out into the ocean as we go through tomorrow. It'll be uh, probably well offshore by the time we get to tomorrow night. Uh, and it should continue to go east until it gets to about here, which is about uh, not too, too far from Bermuda. Uh, so folks in Bermuda will want to watch the progress of this as it comes to the east. Uh, what we expect to happen is that, I don't know if it'll stall, but it's definitely going to slow down uh, as it gets out here because of weakening steering currents. And then it should eventually pick back up speed and head out to sea. There's been a little bit of consternation about, oh, well, Adalia is going to go out here and then loop back toward Florida because there were a couple of weather models that were showing that. Uh, over the last couple of days. And that's not to say that it's impossible that something like that couldn't happen. It could. Uh, but first of all, number one, once Adalia gets out here, it's not going to be the Hurricane Adalia that came ashore in Florida this morning. It's already weakened. It's going to struggle out here with wind shear. So it will not become the storm that it was. It will be a shell of its former self. Second of all, as of tonight, most of the tropical models, all the tropical models really show this continuing uh, to move out to sea eventually as we get into early next week. So we don't expect that curly Q or loop to loop, whatever you want to call it, back down toward Florida uh, with Adalia's uh, second act here as we go through time. I think first of all, we'll have to watch Bermuda, like I said, uh, as we go into early next week to see if there's any impacts, or I guess this weekend to see if there's any impacts from Adalia there. Uh, and then it should go out to sea or it'll just kind of fall apart in place, I guess. I, I'm not really sure what's going to happen beyond uh, the early part of next week. There's some uh, convoluted steering pattern in the Atlantic that maybe tries to bend it back to the west a little bit before kicking it out to sea. 
Uh, who knows at this point? It doesn't look like a serious concern for anybody right now. I certainly wouldn't be worried about it. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on it and see what happens as we go through the next several days. But just kind of want to emphasize that, hey, none of the models that we look at regularly for, for Tropic stuff is showing this thing coming back to Florida now. So that should hopefully be it for Adalia once it moves offshore. And hopefully uh, the impacts in Bermuda will not be too serious. It should be just a tropical storm. Granted, tropical storms can cause impacts. Uh, but Bermuda is a rather hardy uh, place for hurricanes. They've experienced a fair share of them, so hopefully they can handle a, a moderate tropical storm as well. We'll keep you posted on that and anything else that develops in the tropics. Everything else looks quiet right now. Uh, we'll start to kind of get back into uh, to tune as to what's happening elsewhere as we go through the rest of the weekend into the weekend. In the meantime, hope everybody's safe, dry, and take care.